For today's lesson, you've learned your multiplication tables, but what if you need a bigger table? Can the rule of zero help us multiply a number that doesn't have any? What is a partial product partial towards? All this and more on today's Math Review. Hi, and welcome to Math Review. My name is Miss Rosa. And I, of course, am Professor J. Last time, we learned about expanded notation, breaking a large number into its individual parts. And today, we're going to learn how that can help make multiplying any large number a breeze. But first, what's with the cape? Well, you know, after the Einstein incident, I decided I would try a new hobby. Magic. Like card tricks? Um, I was thinking something with a little more pizzazz. For instance, sawing a woman in half. I don't think magic is your thing. Hey. Let's just stick to sawing numbers apart instead. Oh, well, can I at least keep the cape? Sure. <laughs> so what Rose is referring to is today's lesson. Partial products. That's right. A partial product is when you take a number apart and then multiply each of those smaller parts one at a time. Let's take, for instance... 4,752? Right, your favorite. Well, actually, um, 700 billion is my favorite now, but I'd just rather not take it apart. It's a good idea. Uh, so, let's multiply five times 4,752. Unless you're a genius, like me, looking at five times 4,752 can seem daunting. But if you take that big number and break it into its parts using expanded notation, your job just got a lot easier, even for us non-geniuses. So while you might not know what 5 times 4,752 is, most people can figure out the pieces. Know what 5 times 4,000 is? Remember the rule of zero? That's right, 5 times 4 is 20, add those three zeros, 20,000. And it's just as easy to figure out what 5 times 700 is. 3,500, 5 times 50 is 250, and 5 times 2 is 10. Take all those numbers, write them down, and add them up. It takes a little bit longer, but it's easy to do. And that's saying a lot when it comes to math. Let's try another one. 3 times 8,693. So 3 times 8 is 24, so 24,000. 3 times 6 is 18, so 1,800. 3 times 9 is 27, so 270, and 3 times 3 is 9. So, add them up, let's see here, 26,079. In case you didn't know, when you multiply numbers, the answer is called a product. Multiplying the parts of a number is why it's called a partial product. You're partially multiplying a number, each piece at a time. It works, and partial products are a great way to take the fight out of a big number. Just take it apart, multiply by those parts, and add the results back together. It's so easy, it's almost like magic. That's it for today's math review. Thanks for watching. <laughs>